Hey guys, this is Richard from Watch Tech. Right, this is my next video for you. Uh, this is the uh, video why I chose the 500D from Corsair over my other, my previous case. So let's do this. Right, so one of the reasons why I chose to choose a different computer case is because of time. My old Fantex uh, Lux, N2 Lux from Fantex was bought in 2014, so it was starting to show its age. It, was, it didn't have tempered glass, it didn't have any new features that new cases have on the market. Um, I did try upgrading my case to a Lee and Lee Landcool mesh, but it was too small. And I'm not a fan of the front radiator. Uh, front radiator lock so I needed a case to actually have room for a 280 or 360 on the top and have all my RGB as well as my cable management needs so I chose the 500D the reason why is because it was out of two cases it was either this or it was the bit quiet 802 case which was a very big case I was going to get it off someone I know but the more and more I read and watched videos about it realised that it didn't support a 280 at the top so my choices were limited uh, the Lee and Lee Lancool mesh that doesn't support 280s uh, a 280mm radiator it, Supports 140mm fans, but it does not support the radiator either. I think it's because it's not tall enough for where the CPU cables usually are on the side. On the From, obviously, my left side is the CPU cables and where the radiator comes down with the fans attached. Because I don't use the fans on the top. I blow air through the radiator. Saves on dust. Uh, well, in my old previous case the 280 was always catching is because the motherboard tray wasn't low enough well in this one it's just perfect uh, I managed to fit it in my next upgrade for this computer will be a 360 at the top which I'm hoping to get a Corsair Capellux I will not be getting the LCD version because I don't think the extra uh, 89 pound for an LCD even if it is an OLED or IPS, whatever screen it is, I don't think that a £90 upgrade is going to be worth it, especially when the cooler itself is going to be at least £260 in the UK. If it's about 280 in the US, according to Jay's two cents, so it's going to be around the 250 270 mark. So for me, not worth it. I'd rather spend £150 on a white Capellux version of the 360. So, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is going to be showing you key features of it now in a little bit of a montage. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Also, don't forget to check out welshytech.co.uk, my personal website. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. Goodbye.